everyone welcome back to another video I am doing some stamping again today um, I was live on Instagram on Wednesday the 3rd of June um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up but I think it will be hopefully quite close to then um, so I was live on Instagram doing another stamping one um, just because it's well sought after like video a lot of people ask me about stamping and I've seen it posted a lot on groups that I'm on lately asking for advice and recommendations and stuff so anyway um, I'm not going to go into too much detail of it I just wanted to do like quite a quick video because I already have a stamping video um, called stamping 101 and I'll go into quite a lot of detail in that one so I don't want to be too repetitive so if you haven't seen that already then definitely check that one out um, so here I'm just basically throwing together a base of um, just a combination of a few dark colours I've got neon 32 which is on which is the base colour that's already on the nail now. Um, wait, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so that's Neon 32. And then there you've just seen me mixing a little bit of white inky from Magpie with base coat. And then I've got a little bit of 80518 from Blue Sky, which is the black that's on my palette. So I'm just doing my two coats of blue. This second coat I have left wet uncured because I'm going to be going in with my other colours onto that wet layer um, just to let it blend a little bit better and not just have some polish sat on top I kind of want them to merge together so I add some black first and then I add a little bit of the white and then a little bit of silver inky onto the tacky layer after I've actually cured this one so take a breather <laughs> so after I've done that I um, obviously then go on to stamping so we'll wait until that point and then I will explain a little bit more Okay, so I'm just going over out with Velvet Top Coat, which if you don't know Blue Sky is a brand, that is a matte top coat. Um, I'm just applying this because I prefer to work over a matte top coat with nail art. Um, mainly hand drawn really, um, freehand but obviously, even with stamping. The problem is because I've put a Magpie's Inky on top of this design into the tacky layer, if I then do a bit of like I need to remove the tacky layer to do the stamping so it's probably going to wipe it off so I just put a little bit of velvet top coat and then I've got a nice matte surface to use when it comes to my stamping and then if for any reason I don't like any stamping that I do I can just wipe it off and it won't affect the the base layer that I've got basically so I'm using my clear jelly stamper stamper um, it's not my favourite, I'm not going to lie, but I can't actually really comment on it yet. Like, I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's amazing. I know a lot of people rave about it, which is why I did decide to get it. It's, I can't really tell you what it is that I don't like. I'm not 100% sure. I think it might be because I'm so used to the Moira one, which is a little bit smaller. Um, so I think that's the main thing, really. There's, I don't have anything bad to report about it or anything like that. It's nothing like that. It's just literally that... I need to give myself a bit of time to get used to it basically so you know I might end up loving it shortly but I don't at the moment <laughs> so I'm just stamping some planets and some stars you know just space related items onto the snail this um, 
stamping plate is Born Pretty. It's BP170, I think. We'll be able to see it in just a second. But I'm sure, yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's really, really cute. And in the description box, I will link the seller that I used from eBay to buy these plates because they were buy five, get five free. So I bought 10. Obviously, means I got 10 free. So I got 19 plates, a stamper and a scraper, all for about £30, which is an absolute bargain. Um, because obviously Moira, I usually use them and their plates are seven pound each and stuff like that. So as much as I will still use Moira and they're my absolute favourite over anybody, um, I do like to have a variety. And sometimes you can't always afford to buy twenty at seven pound each. So it's a really good deal. Um, I also have a Born Pretty haul um on my channel already from them of how many I bought those that twenty package. So if you want to have a look at some like in person instead of just on a photo, then have a watch of that video and hopefully they'll be a little bit clearer than the photos are. Anyway, so here I'm just getting ready for my second design. I'm just popping some inkies on and then I will basically spread them out with, I think, a lipstick applicator with the acetone drained out from it. Um... Stamping wise, I just want to basically touch on a couple of things because obviously that's what this is mainly about, not the bases. Um, I had a lot of questions in the in the live, which I kind of should have put together like a question and answers like thing, so I could put them into the description. But I'm just a little bit manic at the moment with doing other training and press ons and just basically just random stuff. Like I've got a lot of swatching to do and stuff like that because I've rebranded. So. I won't do it at the moment, but if someone reminds me, if you really want that, um, I will definitely look into it when I have a little bit more time on my hands. Um, anyway, so yeah, the main points I'd say, I had a lot of people saying that they couldn't get the polish to transfer from the plate onto their stamper. So the main things I have found that cause this are you are either taking too long um, to pick up your image from the stamping plate which means that your normal polish is going to have set in that in your image like too quickly. So it's going to be set and you're trying to pick it up when it's dry. That's not going to work. So you need to pick it up really quickly. Um, another reason why you might not is your stamper might not be clean. So it's not able to stick to it. So I always recommend using a lint roller to clean your stamper. That's the only thing that I ever let touch the head of my stamper um, in terms of cleaning. So there's that. And then lastly, I'd probably say you may be taking off too much polish when you're scraping. So if you scrape really hard, you might actually find that your scraper is going into the image and pulling the polish out of it. So obviously you're going to be left with not a lot of polish left, which is why the image won't transfer properly. So that's another point. Um, just trying to think of the other common questions that people are asking during the live. I ended up changing my mind on this design. I stamped that on and then decided to go with something floral. So I removed that and then started again. <laughs> um, which is why I said that the um, having that top coat on top of the colour is really helpful. Because it means you can remove and add as many times as you want. Um, I can't remember what the other things were really. So if anyone has, ha has got any questions then please pop them in the comments. Or feel free to message me on my social media. Um, I always respond to everybody and I get quite a lot of messages. It's quite nice to chat with some other people so that's always fine um but yeah i'd say pressure of your stamper and pressure of your scraper are both important um you can see here i'm using a different stamper this is the born pretty stamper that came in the set that i bought um so i just wanted to use a mixture of things to show that you know like different products do work and you don't have to necessarily have the most expensive ones i'm also using clear jelly stampers polish now Whereas on the last stamper one, I used weekly polish from Blue Sky. So there's all sorts of different things. They are the same price, but with Blue Sky, you get a lot more. It's a 15 mil. Um, but it's difficult to compare the two because one is a stamping polish and one's a normal polish. But weekly polish is amazing. So if you don't want to invest yet and you want the buy five, get six offer... Um, with Divine Nails and Beauty then definitely get the weekly polishes because they are a bargain for how much you get and they will last you forever if you are only using them for stamping 
don't use gel polish. Um, I had a few people say that they were failing miserably with stamping and it's because, well, and then we got to the end of it and realised that it was because they were using normal gel to stamp. It doesn't work and it ruins your stampers as well. If you want to use gel, you need to make sure it's stamping gel. Although I can't really comment on that because I haven't actually used it before. Um, but yeah, don't use normal gel and yeah. <laughs> so if that's what you've been doing and you're failing miserably, then that's probably what it is. It just doesn't dry. It doesn't pick up properly. It smudges. It's a nightmare. Don't put yourself through it. It's an absolute nightmare. So, um, yeah, so pressure. If you, like I said, if you push down too hard on your scraper when you're scraping off the polish, you'll end up pulling off too much and then you'll get a really, like, vague image and you might have bits missing. Don't not put enough pressure on because you'll end up, with loads of smudging because you'll be picking up too much polish and you don't want to pick the whole load of polish up that you've put on you just want to pick up the amount that's in the image so you need to scrape enough and then pressure with your stamper if you put too much pressure on when you are picking it up you will push the polish too far into the design and it won't always pick up as well it may like with the moira stamper that i'm using right now the pink one um it's really difficult to mess up with it. It's absolutely brilliant. I went on this morning actually to buy another one and it sold out. <laughs> I checked before I did my live and I was going to buy one when I came off it if I remembered. And then I checked this morning and it's gone. So that'll teach me to get it straight away. Um, so yeah, wait till it comes back in stock and then definitely get it. It's worth the wait. Um, so yeah, put too much pressure on. You might push it in. Not enough, you'll pick up too much. So you just need to get a happy medium really and make sure that you're doing every step quick enough um, because like this bit now when I'm taking off the extra bits I'm doing that quick and I'm placing it straight on if you take too long to do that your polish will dry onto your stamper and then it won't transfer onto the nail so it's all about I'd say the main things are timings and pressure they're the main two things when it comes to stamping I'd say so anyway, I finished talking you to death. I am just top coating and that's the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.